Welcome back. We're going to take a quick look at VChain. Sunny Lu. What's up, Sunny Lu? Coming in at number 36. So for VChain against USDT, uh, we have a target over here at 1.6 cents. A target fresh out of the oven. Uh, there was a very big descending triangle uh, that came. Very big one. Uh, very big mountain range. Oh my god. And then we collapsed. Not just VeChain, but everyone in general actually did collapse. Uh, but yeah, um, VeChain uh, yeah, formed a very, very nice uh, mountain range over here. And yeah, we fell. Uh, after that, we, we tried spiking back up towards the skinny pink line. Hey, hey, but the skinny pink line uh, acted as strong resistance. And we got pulled all the way back down. And then there was another small rally. And here we freaking are. We are at 0, 0.0. 2.2 at 2.2 cents. Uh, again, the target is at uh, 1.6 cents. So there's still another about 28, I think, 29% more to go. Yeah, about 30% uh, for VeChain against USDT. Things are still not really looking that good. I'm not too sure if this is the end. Uh, could we still see a rally? You know, yeah, we could. Uh, we could get a very big descending triangle and head lower, right? But again, uh, you know, in terms of our tradability, there are no clear tradable chart patterns for VeChain at this point of time. So again, I, I, I really preach uh, caution uh, about going into a trade too soon for VeChain. Uh, the, the best case scenario for VeChain is that we keep heading lower, we hit targets first, and after that we start reversing. And then this could already be the hey, hey, setup for an inverse head and shoulders, a bullish reversal setup. This whole thing could already be a left shoulder. We come down for the head, we complete the head, and we complete the right shoulder as the skinny pink line comes down and then boom, we spike out and the skinny pink line starts curving back up. Bull trend starts. Right, this will be great. Uh, but again, <laughs> let's take things one step at a time uh, and let's uh, focus on uh, zero, uh, 1.6 cents for VeChain first. Right, let's not uh, you know be too rash about uh, you know looking towards the bullish side of things. Yes, we are very, very oversold. We're super oversold. Uh, and there should be a strong rally eventually, but uh, yeah, you gotta be very careful, right? The timing is everything. You need to get your timing right. If you were to pull out a big uh, Fibonacci retracement, uh, the tool, right? Uh, potentially, we could go past uh, 1.6 cents towards, um, where's this? 1.1, okay. We might even breach uh, one cent though for VeChain, that's possible. Uh, there are clusters of stop cells here and here, right? There are people who probably have um, stop cells here and here. So we might take out these stop cells first before heading back up. So we might, we might be heading towards uh, sub one cent. Uh, the point is, we're not too sure. At this point of time, we're still bias bearish. We're still a long way from the skinny pink line. We're pulling away from the skinny pink line. So yeah, things are very bearish for VeChain. So if anything, you should be bearish minded and you should be looking out for shots. If you're in the US, learn how to use Kraken. If you're in the rest of the world, you know, learn how to use KuCoin, learn how to use Binance or even Kraken as well. But um, I like I like Binance much better. So yeah, if anything, be careful about, uh, you know, looking long. But of course, if you're not comfortable going short, uh, you can always um, sit on your pile of cash, right? Uh, the dollar index has continued to rise and so holding USD is actually, I mean USD is actually appreciating against everyone else at this point of time. So yeah, if you're holding USD, it's totally fine right? because it's appreciating. You want to be in, a, in an asset that is appreciating. You don't want to be in an asset that is depreciating. So there you freaking go. All right, uh, I guess that's it for my VeChain technical analysis. We're gonna take a quick look at uh, internet computer next. ICP, right, see you, bye-bye.